Okay, here are solutions for perfect problem three for math 211. Uh, eight different problems here, so this might take a little while. Uh, the first point I want to make are uh, answers may vary. Maybe I'll write that somewhere. How about right here? So I'll just give kind of one example of an arrow diagram that would satisfy criteria for each of these eight. But if yours don't look like this, that doesn't mean that yours are wrong. So for number one, I'm trying to draw something that's reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So I got three elements, A, B, C, one, two, three, whatever you want to do. And I want to draw arrows. Well, let's see, to make it reflexive, there better be an arrow from every element to itself. To make it symmetric, uh, anytime I have an arrow, there better be an arrow going in the other direction. That looks like that satisfies. To be transitive, if there's an arrow from A to B and B to C, there must be an arrow from A to C. Um, I think that does it. I think this would be a perfect example for number one. Number two, uh, reflexive and symmetric, but not transitive. Let's see if we can do that. So I got one, two, three. One, two, three. I need it to be reflexive, so we'll start with these arrows here. Um, but I need it to not be transitive. So that'll be kind of tricky. I could try throwing an arrow from one to two and maybe an arrow from two to three. And then I'll see if I can draw it so that there's not an arrow from one to three because that would break transitivity. One to two and two to three. There needs to be one from one to three. But the problem is what I drew right here is no longer symmetric. Well, let's see if I can add arrows to make it symmetric without making it transitive. And I think I can. I think if I draw an arrow back up here and up here. And I might even say not transitive because there's an arrow from one to two and an arrow from two to three, but there is not an arrow from one to three. Okay, what about number three here? Three asks me to come up with something that is reflexive and transitive, but not symmetric. I think we can do that. So one, two, three. One, two, three. It's going to be reflexive, so let's go ahead and start out with these three arrows. Uh, I want it to be transitive, but not symmetric. So I'd like to draw an arrow, like, I don't know, an arrow from one to two, and then not have an arrow from two to one. So the question is, can I do that? Can I draw this? Um, can, I, can I survive without putting an arrow in from two to one without breaking transitivity? Um, I think right here this will work. This is not symmetric. Let you listen to football for a minute. It's not symmetric because uh, one to two, but not an arrow from two to one. Uh, but it is transitive. An arrow, there's nothing you can do to break transitivity in this picture right here. So maybe I'll just leave it at that. What about number four? Four says reflexive, but not symmetric or transitive. It might be tricky. Let's see, uh, start with our three arrows because we're going to have to because it's reflexive. I don't want it to be symmetric, so maybe I draw an arrow like from one to two and try not to draw an arrow back from two to one. And I also don't want it to be transitive, so maybe I can draw an arrow from two to three. And so now what I have is it's not transitive because... There's an arrow from one to two, and an arrow from two to three, but there is not an arrow from one to three. And it's not symmetric, because there's an arrow from one to two, for example, um, but there's not an arrow from two to one. Okay, managed to do the first four. I wonder if we can do the next four. Maybe I can even use those four and try to come up with something similar. So for, I guess this isn't two, this is five. For five, I want something that's not reflexive, uh, not symmetric, and not transitive. Sounds like a mess. Such a thing possible? Well, let's see. To make it not reflexive, I just have to not have an arrow from one of these numbers to another. 
to make it not symmetric, I have to have an arrow like this so that one does not go back there. How can I break transitivity? I don't know, that would do the trick. Not reflexive because um, there is not an arrow from one to one. Not symmetric because uh, there's an arrow from one to two, but there is not an arrow from two to one. And not transitive because there's an arrow from one to two and an arrow from two to three, but there is not an arrow from one to three. Okay, moving on, number six. Uh, let's see, let's make this red so they don't run into each other too badly. Draw my sets. What are we going for in six? We want it to not be reflexive, not be symmetric, but to be transitive. Hmm, okay, I think I can make that happen. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. I want this to not be reflexive, so just miss one of the arrows from something to itself. Uh, not be symmetric, so maybe I'll throw an arrow from one to two, but then nothing from two to one. And to not be, uh, to be transitive, what am I doing, six? It is transitive, okay, so then stop right here. This is transitive. You can't break transitivity, so it's transitive. So this is not reflexive because there is not an arrow from one to one. Sorry, that's hard to read. Let me try to make that a little more legible. Uh, it's not symmetric. And that's because there's an arrow from one to two, but there is not an arrow from two back to one. Uh, but it is transitive. Why? I don't know. Anytime there's an arrow from A to B and an arrow from B to C, there's always an arrow from A to C. There's just so few arrows, you can't break that tr property. Uh, so I guess I'll call that good. Okay, number seven, uh, I want it reflexive. No, not reflexive, not transitive. But it has to be symmetric. Okay. So here's one set, here's another. Throw our three elements in there. So it is symmetric. So if I put an arrow from one to two, I better also have an arrow from two to one. Uh, but I want it to not be reflexive. That's fine. There's no error from one to one. I want it to not be transitive. Fine. There's an error from one to two and two to one, but nothing from one to one. I think this fits the criteria. This is symmetric, but it's not reflexive. Again, because there is not an arrow from one to one. It is symmetric, but it's not transitive. Because there's an arrow from one to two and an arrow from two to one, but there is no arrow from one to one. And finally, number eight, which is the one that is not reflexive, but it is symmetric and it's transitive. Okay, I can do that. So here's one set, here's the other. Let's draw an arrow from one to one, one to two, two to two, and two to one. This is not reflexive uh, because there's no arrow from three to three. And it is transitive because an arrow from one to two and an arrow from two to one, there better be an arrow from one to one. There is an arrow from two to one, an arrow from one to two, there better be an arrow from two to two, there is. So it is transitive uh, and it's symmetric because arrow from one to two, there's an arrow from two to one. Arrow from two to one, there's an arrow from one to two. So I guess that's it, this is reflexive, or it's not reflexive, but it is the other one, symmetric and transitive.
other answers you could have come up with that would satisfy most of these guys, but here's eight examples of things that do work. So maybe I'll call this good here and end the video.